everybody. Happy Tuesday. All right, so we are halfway through our week officially since we only have four days this week. Um, yesterday, we introduced that we are moving into subtraction, right? So we know that with subtraction, we're going to be taking away, right? We have our new friend right here that we see in equations. Do you remember his name? He is minus. He is Linus the minus, as I like to call him. And he's a tricky little friend because he loves to come and take things away, right? So when we do subtraction, we always start with our bigger number. And then Linus, he is going to tell us how much we're going to subtract by and then take away. All right. So let's read our new equation together. All right. Six minus four equals what? All right. So I'm going to be going over a couple strategies with you today that you can use when you are subtracting. One of our strategies that we have used with addition is drawing a picture. So I'm going to find my bigger number and that tells me how many circles I'm going to draw. So I have six. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I drew six circles, okay? There's my minus sign. So it's gonna tell me how many I'm taking away, which is how many? Four. So the way I like to do this is I like to put X's on my circles because that tells me they've been taken away, right? So I'm gonna put four X's. So one, two, three, four, okay? I had six minus four. How many do I have left that have no X's on them? One, two. I have two left. So six minus four equals two. That's using my drawing a picture method. Now, I could use these little guys, okay? And I have six markers here, all right? So I'm starting with six, just like my equation tells me to do. I'm starting with six. So six minus or take away four, all right? So I've got six, now I'm gonna take away four of them. One, two, three, four. How many markers do I have left? Two. So once again, we know that six minus four equals two. Okay. Now, another strategy that we can use is using our tens frame, just like we did with addition. But this time, we're going to be going backwards since we have our minus. Okay. So let's read our equation. Ten minus seven equals what? All right, so I know that I start at 10 because that's my bigger number, okay? So I'm gonna come and I'm gonna circle it. This is where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna put my dot, okay? Minus, so I'm going backwards. I'm gonna be taking away, okay? How many? Seven. All right, so let's hop back seven spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where did I end up at? Three. Okay, so 10 minus seven equals three. All right, now, if I wanted to draw a picture just to double check, this I could, all right? So I'm gonna do it right up here. So I'm gonna draw 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. There is my 10, all right? Minus seven. So I'm gonna mark out seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. I've marked out seven. So now let's see how many circles I have that do not have any X's on them. One, 
two, three. Did I get three again? Yes, I did. So 10 minus seven equals three, okay? So that is subtraction. We are taking away. When we subtract, we always have to start with our bigger number, okay? Because if not, then we can't really solve our problem. So for example, if my problem is two minus three, okay, can I solve that? No, because if I draw two circles, and I have to take away three, one, two, is there anything else that I can take away? No, so I would say, eh, that is not correct. The bigger number always has to come first. So then it would be three minus two equals blank, and then now I can solve it, okay? I could do one, two, three circles, minus, I'm taking away how many? Two, one, two, and how many do I have left? One. So three minus two equals one. All right, so we're gonna continue working on a subtraction throughout the week, and I can't wait to see how well you guys are doing on your seesaw activities, and don't forget, Practice counting to 100s by 1s and by 10s. All right, have a wonderful day, guys.